Greetings commanders and welcome back to another Warpath video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the brand new skill training system. Now, if you ever thought that your officers were actually, you kind of wasted your time upgrading one of them, especially the old ones like Angel of Light over here. I bet some of you guys, probably the old ones, the OGs have this one maxed out over here and you would be saying that shit i maxed out this officer and right now there's like tons of infantry officers that are way more op than this one over here well you guessed wrong because the new skill system kind of deletes that and takes that out of the park because over here you can use your other officer skills to upgrade any other officer skills this sounds confusing and it doesn't make any sense but let me explain everything for you in this video so let's put things first at the fundamentals. The, there are mainly three new officer skills, or mainly four new officer skills types. There's one that is actually just weird, but yeah, four new officer skill types. And you can see all these types right above each officer skill that is over here. Now, of course, we're talking about the passive skills. We're not talking about the tactical ones, the active ones, whatever you want to call them. It's only basically the passive skills. We have mainly four types. The first ones are actually called offensive. Offensive skills, from their name, they're dealing more damage, more uh, less loading time, more firepower, whatnot. Protective ones, on the other hand, are more damage resistance, more uh, blast damage resistance, uh, basically more HP. Overall, better sustainability for your officers. The balance one is actually both at the same time, which are the mixed skills such as firepower and HP at the same time. And then, of course, you have finally the special ones, which kind of regard to the reduced lower time. Um, you know, these kind of skills that are a little bit different than the usual, the kind of healing, field recovery, whatnot. All these kind of recovery skills, healing options and whatnot are in the special section over here. Now, you will be confused exactly why is there two new skill buttons over here under each and every officer that is available right now in the game. Well, that is because right now you can actually place two new officer skills additional to the ones that you currently have within your officer with other officers. So, for example, uh, let's talk about first off, what are these slots over here? Mainly, you can choose one of these skills. So, for example, I want to learn this skill over here, and then you can choose another skill to learn. So you basically have two of these skills. Now, let's look at exactly how you can actually unlock them. The first thing is that you will unlock uh, the first slot, which is this one over here of the officer skill after your server has actually reached 180 days. That means after 180 days, every single one on the server will have one additional skill slot for their officers. This is really cool. And the second one will be unlocked after 300 days. So you have to actually have the server up for 300 days to unlock the second sli uh, skill slot, which is this one over here. Now, basically, every officer has an open skill slot, can select another officers as a trainer to learn one of their passive skills. The officer learning the skill will get access to that skill at its current rate. That's why your old officers you didn't actually waste them because you only get the current rate of that officer. So, for instance, if I have this skill maxed out HP buff of Spanner all the way maxed out, and then I go over here and then I look at Spanner, I will see that at level five. And this is basically how this system kind of works. So basically, the trainer officer will not lose the skill. So you will still have it at the trainer officer, but both officers will actually take the benefit of that skill. Each officer can only train one other officer so that means you can only get one skill from each officer and provide them with one skill if an officer is currently training another officer the trainer officer cannot learn a skill from someone else we're gonna explain that in a second after the first skill slot is unlocked passive skills will be divided into four categories which we just explained and each officer can only learn one skill of each type, meaning that you can take either offense or defense. You can't learn two defensive unless that's going to be extremely powerful. Special type skills do not work if the officer is serving as their troops aid. This is extremely important. So only if you have this officer and you know for sure that this officer is going to be basically this one over here. What it does is that 
means that you if you have a special type skill and if that officer is serving as your troops aide that you learned the special skill from is they're not going to basically work so you have to have another officer so you have to learn them from an officer that you would never normally combine them together or pair them up together as well this is also very important now let's talk here about exactly what that means what this section means over here which is mainly the trainer officer cannot learn a skill from someone else um if they are a, an officer is currently training another officer so for instance let's say we want to learn this skill over here so let's go ahead and we're learning this skill and as you can see we can still remove it if we want to so we'll get we're gonna go ahead and learn this skill and we as you can see spanner is gone we can't see spanner anymore he's over here but basically this officer we can't learn from him again so we have to actually break the first one and then learn the second one if we were to do that as well however over here it's cur he's currently training uh, uh angel of light so that means you cannot take any other skill from this officer basically you can cancel that and it will break the skill this is what, how, what it means so basically it's for officers that are not mostly used that are currently gonna give you like the benefit of the doubt so over here we have to choose another officer so for instance there's basically this opens up millions of possibilities and you can literally do basically a lot of things from these so you have to choose one of these skills that are most OP choose that from the officer and then teach that to another officer eventually you can have a kind of a full army or a full at least 10 officers roasters where you can learn their skills and actually benefit from them because the maximum officers you can output is 10 and you have basically four six you have uh six over here that's 12 you have six over here that's 18 and then that's 20 23 officers so 23 skill options that you can choose uh that means you can fill up your whole officers and you'll have three less uh, like more skills that you can actually choose from as well so as you can see all the protective ones are kind of grayed out because you can you can choose another protective and then you can choose this one over here of course you can remove them without any issues like you can just change remove this no problem at all not gonna take you any time it's gonna lower the uh, kind of power that you have on that officer and as you can see that actually gives you a lot of power when you when you put that on there you can see like probably double the power from just one skill over here and if we like for example upgrade one of these skills let's go ahead and see how much power we can actually reach maximized and then we place that over here that's basically the maximum new officer power that you can reach of course when you max this officer out it's gonna increase naturally uh but this is basically uh without maxing this officer out this is the maximum power you can use and when you max out this officer this is basically the maximum power that you can get for an officer five five eight all everything maxed out all the trainer uh, officers are uh, as well maxed out too so basically this is the new skill training system i hope you guys did like it the officer training uh, if you did, of course, this is uh, just a quick disclaimer. This is just like a, a test server. Um, and if you did like this video, please make sure to, lo uh, to leave us a like down there. Leave me in the comments as well. What are your thoughts about this system? I think it's pretty cool. It opens up a lot of possibilities and definitely adds mm, extremely hardcore depth to the game because there's tons of possibilities that you can do with this system. And I'm just super excited to try it out with you guys and do a lot of videos about what are the best combos for which officers as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll definitely see you on the next one.